Hi business students, welcome to week 12 of the course. In this video, I'm going to be going over your research and recommendation report as well as other assignments that are due this week. So I'm going to turn back to week 11 um, where you did some of your brainstorming for ideas of possible things and topics you might look into. I'm going to go over the assignment right now. So this is the final uh, cumulative assignment for the course. It's individual um, and there's different components to it, but you really want to think of this report as a problem solving report. You're going to be identifying an issue and then figuring out how to solve it. Um, and it doesn't have to be absolute, but you really want to be coming up with actual credible ideas for how a company could fix an issue. And you do want to make sure that you pick a company. So something like Apple or Google or pg and or I don't know, Microsoft, whatever it is, it's got to be a specific company. OK, um, the bulk of the report is going to be the written part where you're basically going into, you know, what the problem is, your research into it, the solution, your research into it and the evidence and then your um, work cited page. I'm going to go over um, the components in just a moment. Um, you are going to do a draft, multiple drafts, and I'm going to give you um, feedback on that so you can, you know, have multiple attempts to revise. Um, and I don't think anyone will have any problems. Um, so it's just, again, a way to make sure that you get it done successfully. Um, there is going to be a report deck due, um, and that's going to go along with a Flipgrid presentation. So you want to think about as you're creating your report deck, um, and you're going to be doing a four to five minute flip grid. How is that report deck going to support that um, presentation? You think back to the uh, project you did with your group on the business proposal. Um, how are you going to use those slides to help persuade your audience? Um, so you will have a report deck due and also a memo that will be um, part of that as well. OK. Um, grading criteria is going to be based on your um, your awareness of your audience as well as the purpose of your report clarity and conc concision and tone and formatting. So everything that we've learned about tone through email, through all the different assignments and the formatting, the same thing, um, you're going to be applying that to this report. Um, okay. And the big thing is you need to select a topic. Um, I'm going to go over that in just a second, but I'm going to go over also just kind of your report sample. So you'd want to have an executive summary, uh, purpose slash problem, background on that issue, resources, methods, like how did you look into it? Um, what did you find out? What are the implications? What are your solutions? And then your final recommendations. And then obviously, what are the next steps? And then any graphs or tables and ending with your references. OK, so that's like the big parts of the report. Um, OK, let me go back. So as far as topics, I posted some ideas here um, and these are different areas of business. So accounting, finance, human resources, information systems, marketing and management. Um, and to just give you like some ideas. So in the past, I've had students do stuff on pay inequality within a workplace. You know how much the CEO is paid versus other workers. Why is that a problem? Or like even stock options, like who's given more? Why is that an issue? Um, and then also things like marketing fiascos. So like years ago, Pepsi did an ad with one of the Jenners in which they kind of used uh, the activist movement of Black Lives Matter to sell product, which was a major issue. People had a big problem with it. And so they had to kind of do some maneuvering to bring people back um, and have a positive image. Um, you know, Peloton has done a few things that have been very sexist and people have really not liked it. Gillette, I mean, I could go on and on. So you pick a company and look at something they did marketing wise and then talk about like, whoa, they did a bad job here and here's how we could fix it, right? And you can look at what other companies that are similar or even different and what they did to kind of come back um, and make their image look a little bit more positive. Um, another idea is like diversity in the workplace. Um, how can we have more people of diversity working for a company or appeal to more diverse uh, consumer base? Um, you can talk about actual disasters. So like PG&E had those explosions and fires um, or like oil spills, like whatever it might be. Think of a company, think of a, an actual disaster that happened. How can we bring them back from it? Um, there's also things like uh, WeWork. You know, they had that whole fiasco with um, just completely inappropriate business practices and then like <laughs> just fraud, um, things like that. Um, and then also like benefits, you can look into a company's benefits and see how they can appeal to more, uh, more employees. Like think about right now, especially we have the, the great resignation, all these people are quitting their jobs and, 
you know, what is it? Is it not enough pay? Is it that the cost of living around is too expensive? Is it that they need to have childcare like at the office? Do they need to have food at the office? Do they need to have better benefits, sick leave, um, you know, uh, parental leave, um, all that kind of stuff. So thinking about that, those are just examples, but, um, but think of an, an issue. And if you're, you're not sure about it, um, just let me know and I'm sure we can figure it out, but do make sure you pick one specific company, not just an industry. Um, and also thinking about your audience, is your report going to go to the CEO? Is it going to be the board? Is it going to be everyone at the company or is it just going to be stockholders? Like think about who your audience is as well. And that's going to help gear you. Um, and then just as a reference, here are some examples of past business reports. So here's one that was on the code of ethics for Lululemon. Um, and this was a really well done report. So, you know, feel free to look through it and see what are some things that I can mimic? What are some things that I might want in my own report? Um, and then there was another one on Fossil, and I think it was the their benefits as, and well as work-life balance um, in the company. Um, and this was a really well done report. Um, I do like visuals, um, graphs and images are always great. And then of course the reference list is important. Um, the big thing you're gonna be doing this week is research. So last week you brainstormed about ideas, this week you're gonna be doing research. So. Um, there's a few different things you can do. You're always welcome to use Wikipedia um, as a baseline. Um, and then again, like as you look at Wikipedia, um, you can look at the sources within it. So um, like, let's do this. And let's look up something like uh, Lululemon. Sorry, I'm picking the same company just because we've already talked about it. So as you look through, you don't want to cite Wikipedia, but you'll notice that there's these little citations and that will take you to the actual article that you can cite, the credible article. So Wikipedia is really helpful a lot of the times when you're using it, um, you know, with awareness. Um, the other thing is business source complete. This is through the SFSU library. Um, so let me type in the company and let's see what comes up. Okay, so actually we've got some videos. Um, feel free to use news videos, YouTube videos, as long as they're credible, you can use them as a source. Um, so this is interesting, is yoga becoming too expensive? Um, and then there's probably a bunch of surges after providing optimistic sales outlook. So there's lots of things you can find. Also feel free to use the company website themselves. Sometimes they have information. So like, let's say you were gonna be looking at Lululemon, but you wanted to, you know, appeal to audiences more like Nike does. You can use information from Nike's site as well as Lululemon's site, and those count as two sources. So um, you do want to aim for at least three sources in your finished uh, business report, um, your recommendation report. But you can use sources from things that aren't just on, you know, the uh, SFSU site. So that is open to you. Um, the last thing that's due this week is the letter of recommendation. Um, so it seems really weird. I'm asking you to write a letter <laughs> about yourself, um, that you're going to be kind of turning in. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is a lot of people now will ask you to write a letter for yourself. It sounds really weird, but it's actually really helpful because you get to tell that person exactly what you want in that letter. So you can actually tailor the letter to the job you're applying to. You know, we talked about last week, um, about when you're applying to a job, you want to look at you know, when you're looking through your resume, your cover letter, you want to apply the things in your cover letter to what they were, the requirements of the job. So if they're looking for a leader, if they're looking for someone creative, you want to use those key phrases in your cover letter. And the same thing with your letter of recommendation. You want to highlight all of the requirements of that job or the internship or opportunity. You want to highlight those things in the letter. Um, I did provide a sample of what a letter of rec could look like. This is for a student, so it would be different if this was for, you know, a job, um, but um, you can kind of see like how I would do this and you can feel free to mimic it. Um, anyway, um, so that's an example you can look at, but really just thinking about what would I want the person um, giving me this recommendation letter to highlight about me. Um, and so it should be, you know, in complete letter format, organized, um, easy to read, um, and at least one full page, um, and make sure it's in a PDF. Okay. So those are your big assignments for the week. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And, uh, thanks.